Can you hear me? Is it good? I can assume it's good. Alright. Hey! <laughs> and you've been making progress. It's good to hear. It's always love enough and coming Falcon. <laughs> you'd go in this match oh, <laughs> well, cause... Yeah, I got that play against. I, ne I need to see what the hype is. Because I heard you uh, beat Caleb in a set, and that's pretty good. He's like, played the matchup a bit. True. Sometime on the net. Uh, direct. <laughs> Stadium or not? I feel like, um. I feel like Guy Seeks wants Yoshi's. But I could also be completely wrong about that. We'll see. Ready? Feels like um, as Fox, you just wanna break them up with like a nice shine or backhand, and then your goal neutral is just playing a three net, and figuring out what to do after. It seems like he just your first priority is just getting rid of Nanda in some capacity, so you don't have to deal with the one and a half characters. Oh. a lot more manageable when it's just paper. Especially Fox is like faster. So it's easy to hit. Yeah. That match is always nice because there's a lot of things um life comes does. They've got like way in end though. Like side B is always a nice bag of tricks that they have. Like, good whiffs and you don't wanna be there. Oh! These handoffs are. So that was a lot. You love to see it. You were in vices, you love to see the handoffs handoff. Man, Steve, that nearly killed. Oh. I'm not gonna lie and say I know what I do is fault. Besides just running in, doing a move, and hoping it works. If it looks like it worked. Got no idea about this match. Ah. Ah, I see Falcon. It's like kind of similar how you just want to break it apart, but Falcon also has some pretty good tools, and Stomp is pretty good. The back is also nice. Go a little beach for the Icy matchup, yeah. Um, that's a really important matchup. Because, um, you're playing Icy's, and you don't know what to do against Peach. You're just completely fucked, because he's gonna fair you down smash, maybe there, or just anything to break you up. You need to get back up. Especially, you need an. I'll say you need handoffs. I am. That's gotta be like half the reason you still play Ice is against your Peach. Like, you get handoffs. You just get the big sense. I've had a lot of people say some of the things that they get disoriented with like Aussies. Because like you have to look at like both of them and keep track of them. Ooh, first game. Uh, uh how do I change the score? Alright, yeah. Uh -huh. 
Why? <laughs> you got it under control? Uh, you don't have to worry about the stocks, you can just hit save. Yeah, because it's like the ultimate ones. Uh, do you want to hit zero zero, or is that the score? Oh yeah, that's it. There's a button in the middle, you can just press zero zero. And then hit, yep, yep, and then hit save. Nice. So, uh, surprising nobody. Um, I didn't do didn't do too well in Marvel. Oh. <laughs> surprising nobody. Yeah, that was my first actual Marvel games played in tournament. I heard that I heard you can play it sometimes. So. Huh? I've heard um you can play some Marvel. Oh yeah, because um yeah, what happened was like my mate <laughs> got me. He roped me in. Mm -hmm. He ro he roped me in, and I'm like, I've got the bug now. So I'm like, yeah, I'll I'll play it. Mm -hmm. I'll see how I go. Uh, but the thing about that game is like you actually sort of have to know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing yet. But you need to like plant the seed <laughs> before anything can happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll learn some combos maybe soon. We'll see how we go. Definitely seems like a game that you either know your bread and butters or you just like drown. Mm, I know one bread and butter. I know how to do. Uh, I know how to do like a like a 50% doom combo. Like solo, mm -hmm. so I know how to do that, um, which is like enough if I'm playing Doom. But the problem is, is like I got three other characters to worry about now, or two yeah. others rather. Yeah, and you need to, you need to know at least one bread buff for the two others on your team. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, I believed actually. Let's go, Mason. Let's go, Mason. Yes. It's just hard because they're like spaced out, though. Oh well, I guess they're not now, but when they're on either side of the stage, like you can't get handles from there. You're worried about Fox just breathing on either of you. <laughs> oh, oh, what the hell? What the hell was that crap? What the hell was that crap? It just happens. Okay, wrong button. Sometimes coffee wins and you hate to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you hate to see it. Yeah. I hate to see it all the time. <laughs> Wait, so did Mason win the first game? Yeah. Ah, it worked. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Much to think about then. I mean, basically, definitely seems like he knows what he's doing. Like, look, he did that. <laughs> I think he does know what he's doing. It's just that, like... Rough matchup? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he probably said himself, like, the matchup doesn't define everything. Like, when you're playing ICs. Hmm. Well, I, I don't know if you saw, but, like, Mesa had, had some crazy SDI in oh. preparation for one of those backers. <laughs> kind of nuts. He's just good yes, defensively. Let's go, Mason. Like it's just actually hard edge guarding it. I'm not sure like how much of that is me being bad, but that's definitely at least a good part of him just good in getting back onto stage. Mm. Ah. Take that Nana. <laughs> yeah, fuck Nana. You know about Popo Force, right? Uh no. So like Inherently, if Nana is nearby Popo, mm -hmm. she like will like be gravity like pulled like her gravity will be pulled towards Popo. Oh. So that's why you see her always kind of like have this force applied. Oh my god, disgusting. Um, you always see this force applied to Nana, where she'll just like she'll be on the ground and she's like kind of getting pulled. I thought it's just like the AI designed to just no. come back to Popo. No, it like it's actually like Popo pulling her closer. Ah. So w they call that Popo Force. Yeah. Because sometimes you can see like if Popo jumps, Nana will like levitate sometimes. <laughs> she will have like a float. Oh. Float cancel? Not quite. Aww. If, I, if oh, we should give Ice Climbers float cancels. Coffee Rex's brought us back though. Yeah. Huge. 
The problem is, this is scary though, like... Oh yeah. Lassie's just one of those characters I'd not feel confident about till I've taken that last dog. Well, at least when there's both of them. Like handoffs. Nice. That's a legit spooky. Yeah, like Coffee is technically in the lead, but one handoff and he could definitely be behind. Go, Mason. Oh no. He's just gonna do the girl smashes. Yeah. I mean, oh, that's it's good. Oh. 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 He's scared. Oh. Oh, oh that's okay. big. Oh, that's only... Yeah, now he has to play Sopo. That dash attack is so rough. <laughs> Sopo. Uh, oh. That wasn't too bad, though. Yeah. That was not too bad. 2-1. Okay. Oh, the good news is that I'm out of marble, so I don't have to go play it anymore. Unless you want to play it. I... I yeah, I want to play it, but I also, like... The problem is, it's like if you play, it's like when you play melee uh, and you're new and like you play against someone who knows what they're doing, right? Yeah. It's like you actually don't get to play. But Marvel, it's even worse because you're just in a combo for like a hundred hits. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard everyone that talks about Marvel, they end up saying at some point like, when you get hit, you're just waiting like a half a minute of cinematics before you get to do something. Yeah, it's a bit like that. But they say that. But any Marvel player will tell you is that it's actually, it at least has some interaction in it. Yeah, like apparently if they like mess up. Well, what you can do in Marvel, right, is you can do this thing called a Team Aerial Combo or a TAC. <laughs> While you're comboing, uh, when you're like, yeah, comboing someone in the air, and if you press up special, side special, or down special, you start the TAC. And if the other person, does the same like special, the combo drops. It's like a burst. Oh, so, so you just have like a yeah. one free chance. Of yeah, just well, it's a rock paper scissors like mid combo, yeah. right? So what can happen, right, is like someone will try to start a TAC because you can do like TAC infinites. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's oh. so shit. Um, and so there's an incentive to start it, right? You don't just get a combo and like kill someone all the time. There's an incentive to like do the TAC because you're rewarded with the opportunity to, to do an infinite on someone. Yeah. So it's not always uninteractive when you're getting comboed, but like, you know, for the most part. I mean, there's probably still times where like you go for the rock pieces and then you just don't get it ever. Yeah, yeah. You can you can just lose it every time. And it's basically uninteractive. You might as well put the control down. In a yeah. Sense. If you want a game that has more of that interaction, you just play Killer Instinct. Because that one has actual combo breaks. Yeah. Oh? Hey. Oh, hey. What a mash. Yeah. Now, if we want to get another one from here. Ooh. Douche. Hey. Oh, hey, that ain't good. <laughs> You know, if Mason wins this, good for him, but this has got to be really rough. This is a garbage situation. Yeah. Like, he, even if he takes the stock, he's still got... Boo! Fuck, fuck. <laughs> uh, 